Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Mapping Texas Communities Workshop, an introduction to GIS and community analysis. My name is Garrett, and I'm with New Urban Research. I'll be your instructor for today. Today, we're going to focus on learning ArcGIS 9.2, the latest version of the software, as well as how to use census data and community analysis. Before we get into the content of the class, I thought we could begin with brief introductions. I'd like to tell you a little bit about New Urban Research and my background, and then I'd like to hear from you what organization you're with, and what brought you here today as it relates to GIS. New Urban Research is a professional social research and training organization located in Portland, Oregon. In the professional research realm, we primarily work with nonprofit and public sector clients. We do things like community evaluations, needs assessments, and community analysis. We also, of course, do trainings. We teach three workshops, this GIS class, an advanced GIS class, as well as a census methodologies workshop, which focuses more specifically on census methodologies and analysis. We teach in all major cities and come back this way about twice a year. My background is in city planning and geographic information systems. I have a master's degree in urban planning and a BS in geography. Before I came to New Urban Research, I was employed as a GIS analyst at an applied resource organization at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. They focus specifically on issues affecting local governments and communities. Now I'd like to hear from you. Hi, my name is Martel Jackson. I work for the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Healthcare Facilities Division. We provide financing for the capital projects in our nation's hospitals. We think we can use GIS to aid in our efforts to improve health infrastructure in low-income communities. Great. Well, this is a great class with a lot of very interesting projects going on. I haven't heard anything too far outside of the realm of what a GIS can be used for. Let's make sure we have all the materials we'll need for today. Does everyone have a copy of the workbook and the loose leaf handout? The first section of the workbook is the slideshow I'll be using today. This section is meant for you to take notes on. Research has proven that if you write it down, you're more likely to remember it later on. We then have a series of exercises underneath the exercise tab. This is not a historical or theoretical class. This is an applied research class. And these exercises have been designed to introduce you to the three core components of GIS, which include thematic mapping, geocoding, and spatial querying. 